uh, application opportunities and theoretical um, uh, backgrounds uh, what led to the um, development. So, um, yes, I hope it will fit in 15 minutes. Um, yesterday it was about 20 minutes and I, put, um, I think I think I, yeah, it's, it's good. it fits in the screen. Hier mit Kultstil kann ich dann auch mit der Tastatur. Okay. Um, well, as I already introduced, I'm um, talking about aeroflexible aero, um, features on surface it's um, inspired by nature as you can see here uh, role models are birds which are able to uh, reshape their profile uh, the, the airfoil of their wings and also have certain stall delaying features inside and it was already uh, nominated for the Tech award and uh, won the Kredinger award the resolution is a bit low but this was Kredinger award um, all right um, these are the topics I will talk about, about research, research and development results, uh, aspects um, and backgrounds of their flexible features and application potentials and finally other product opportunities where this um, adaptable feature can be applied. It's um, in the whole um, looking a bit in the future of um, new ideas how to cope with food dynamics and um, first of all um, a nice role model from nature and um, as you can see how the profile of this bird is very become uh, become very active when it comes to uh, um, in stationary conditions uh, when when it, the bird when the, when the airflow around the the wings um, tend to stall, the, the, the feathers are able to um, regulate this, the, the flow around um, the wings uh, interactively and um, by passive control. Um, well, um, at the moment um, when we're constructing airplanes, we, um, in a rigid construction, we are limited to, to rigid profiles, which have a defined um, topology and are designed to operate in a certain um, area where we design this, this airplane, for instance, a soaring plane has a certain laminar uh, profile which is suited for uh, soaring conditions and with long laminar uh, boundary layers to, to reduce friction. And um, while to increase lift, we have long wingspans to allow the plane to, to get a, um, a a good gliding factor, and um, and but but this, this soaring plane is um, is suited for soaring, but but um, linking to a, a fighter jet, uh, it will be not working really much. Um, and um, based on the certain operation fields, the the, the profile design is um, very well suited to work. Um, uh, for the stationary effects in the, the, the designed, designated um, operation field, but outside um, it will cause um, lots of boundary layer separation due to unsuited um, topology. Um, so this is a little bit, we, we with rip, um, hard surface objects, we are limited in these um, in stationary uh, and interactive fluid dynamics effects, which uh, we, um, at current airplane designs, uh, will not be able to um, um, apply or exploit. And uh, the idea is now to um, give the, um, the surface the chance to uh, um, adapt on the current uh, um, fluid dynamic situation to um, allow a, a, a ad hoc and very fast interactive solution to uh, cope with the dynamic features of fluid dynamics. Um, currently, we, uh, we have certain um, lift enhancements like 
um, follow flaps or slats and uh, more newer um, research field is the smart blades which are working with um, uh, active controlled um, elements and and piso um, um, controllers uh, actuators and um, this is our current um, research field from the television at uh, Berlin and um, other wind energy, mostly ba um, based in the wind um, energy field, uh, trying to adapt on, on turbulent situation, especially in the wind energy field. You have often turbulent conditions, like from obstacles, and for, for that you um, have to cope much more with the turbulent wind conditions than maybe in aviation. Um, so the, the attempt for the air flexible surface technology is uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, go further into the area of in-stationary and um, fluid dynamic effects and allow, uh, as I already mentioned, ad hoc aerodynamic adaptation on uh, current flow conditions and given um, pressure gradients. Um, exact. And here's a very, very um, um, very um, dominant uh, example from a, 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 a cubic object which is not very suited. It's not very um, aerodynamically optimized object. And as you can see here, especially on the edge where the deflection uh, of the, the, the fluid is, is the strongest, you will see lots of boundary layer separation um, based on the unsuitable topology of the object. Um, the dashed line would be, in this case, the ideal uh, shape to allow the uh, smooth pressure gradients and um, uh, even um, deflection of, of the air around the object and by that a less drag um, as well, and as you can see, the the object is very slim in comparison to the, the, the diameter of this object. But this dash object would, would cause less uh, air drag in, in, in terms of less boundary layer, layer separations, which cause an induced friction. And um, these are some schematic um, uh, graphs of um, the. The, the idea behind um, the steering of, of the reshaping uh, of the surface and um, mainly uh, the, the surface tries to attach, uh, uh, the, the air tries to attach on the surface and, and, and tries to, to um, uh, based on inertia, try to pull, pull the, the surface with the air stream and by that reshaping the, the profile as you can see when we have low attack angles, the, the, the surface elements are lay more smooth together. But if when raising the attack angle, you automatically create a more camber um, in the airfoil by um, the reshaping of the surface. And finally, um, the, 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 um, as in the natural pro model, you get um, the separation of the surface. Um, um, that the surface elements um, by um, applying a, a barrier function for uh, reverse flows um, uh, features which happen uh, at a certain attack angle on, on airfoils. As I've explained here again, as you can see here, normal condition when one lift is applied to create a downwash, so it's um, a rough textiles, but it is, means downwash. And uh, this is um, when, when the boundary layer separation uh, comes up, you no longer create a downwash, which causes you, uh, your airplane to stall. And finally, uh, there are only drag forces um, still uh, apply on the surface. And finally, also see this is uh, great the virtual profile um, as well. So this is again a schematic view uh, of the, the, the separation happening but um, with um, certain reverse flow barrier functions uh, applied here 
this is now um, only shown on one flap, which is already made in the 19th by the two women here. Uh, Berlin, sorry. Uh, they, res they did research with reverse flow flaps um, and um, found these results by increasing um, the lift in the critical area by 20%. And um, yes, this is. Uh, and here another research, um, and uh, I now highlighted the, the activity of the airfoil on this um, role model. Um, what happens on the surface of, of this um, uh, bot? Bot and it's eagle? No, no. It's ah, the eagle of actually. And. Um, Yeah, this is means slow motion analysis. It's already okay. Um, some kind of key ar arguments that can be um, achieved by by error flexible features. It's like interactive adaptation and um, reducing drag by uh, interactive topology. Um, then um, mor uh, morphic wings like oriental copters. Uh, you can reshape the wing construction itself because it uh, consists out of elements and of the rigid object. Uh, increase CMX, um, increasing safety and uh, robustness against turbulent uh, uh, conditions. Um, these are some research studies made. Uh, first is. Um, Wind tunnel test with a normal profile segment uh, without any adaptive features. And as you can see, the, the, the profile is not very stable, um, laying into the um, turbulent um, airstream, which is coming from outside this, this um, little um, wind tunnel. And um, by this in con um, by this in stationary airflow, the, this profile is not able to. Um, to uh, have a um, safe, um, safe lift condition, but in comparison to this, the uh, adaptive profile is able to uh, cope with the stationary uh, flow conditions in the front and is able to uh, regulate its um, uh, lift forces and gaining a, a, a smooth and steady uh, lift. Also, as you can see, sometimes here a little bit the, the front is working, so the lower up uh, the, the, the elements from from below uh, flip up and increase the the, the, the wing area in in um, in a higher at the higher attack angles. These are free flight examples. This is uh, again a, a normal wing, um, and as you can see that um, and it has a, the, the plane itself has a bit of tail load, so it rises uh, faster than normally. And uh, as you can see on, on the top, the, that the, 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 um, the wing is um, no longer creating the lift and the stalls, so the plane drops down to the ground. Um, and again, we have uh, the, the comparison to it, the, the, the adaptive airfoil, and as you can see, the nodding effect uh, it's not not um, not so strongly um, evolved, and also at the end you can see um, a very good um, low slow flight abilities until the plane lands on the ground. And these are high speed analysis uh, where you can see the reshaping um, happening, and uh, later on you see also the front elements become active. Um, and uh, try to adapt the, the, the surface. This is still the first prototype, and um, the, the coating or the, the surface is not yet completely closed, but uh, um, I'm working on the next prototypes, which will create um, a closed surface when in normal flight, and only um, detaches from each other when, when coming into the Stall condition. Okay, um, there are already some uh, measurements made, but they have to uh, um, be uh, they have to be 
out valued and um, they are not uh, finished uh, until the, uh, the beginning of ethics, or, um, but they will be published soon. And uh, talking about um, application potentials, uh, in the future, great um, planes which um, have a wing, wing flapping propulsion um, would, would allow wing flapping propulsion because it's more efficient in terms of uh, um, impulse versus energy um, ratio. Individual mobility uh, can be um, can be achieved better, uh, and also uh, including this fly cars and so on. Um, while some other logistic solutions, you would need no longer big airports and landing slopes. Allow you to uh, um, land um, on a point landing, and also from higher uh, um, elevated um, uh, points, we could make a point start, um, which also would make um, landing slopes obsolete and increase safety. Um, as you can see, here is uh, a nice video from a Boeing 747, which is. Um, just raising too steep and losing uh, lift, and by that, uh, crashing very fast on the ground. And uh, such uh, scenarios could be avoided in this, with this uh, ability. Well, some other uh, strategic solutions for for combat, maybe um, by a higher agility, you could outfly maybe guided missiles because they have a very narrow um, action radius because of their inertia, they are very fast, and by that cannot create uh, sharp curves, and by that uh, you could, like a, a rabbit escaping from a fox, making some sharp turns, and by that um, escaping from a, a tracking object. Uh, other things like sports, uh, and um, yes, it would be maybe better than uh, propulsion vector acceleration, and finally, other um, areas of um, of um, application like wind energy, um, shipping and sailing, also underwater effects, submarines would be also possible uh, applications, and uh, normal transportation on trucks, like um, increasing their uh, drag as well and making them more efficient. Thank you for your attention. We have time for questions. Maybe, maybe one short question and one remark. There, is, there are some projects financed by the European Commission, but mostly Greens. Maybe you well, also have a look at that. I suggest them some. Also, all profound researchers, I never heard of any uh, projects um, uh, at the moment um, going on in this area. So, well, there is a project called Saristi. What? Saristi. Um, if you, if you just, just yeah, Google yeah, Morphe and Greek, you will see. It would be interesting to. Uh, no, so, no, so, no. so, then maybe, maybe you can exchange some ideas. Yes, it would be interesting to talk about it later on.